okay, you've turned on your accent, you've got Empower loaded, and you can't find the Words for Life file. So I'm gonna show you how to load a fresh version of it so you can use the LAMP Words for Life program. So what you do is you start by hitting this menu button one time, and then you go to the button that says Toolbox. You'll get used to doing that, that's where most of this starts. And it makes sense that you go to the button that says Vocabulary right here. After you touch Vocabulary, you go to the one that says Select a Vocabulary. Now, these are gonna be the ones where you forgot, but before you can get those into this area, you wanna go down here to where it says LAMP. If you were doing Unity, you'd go here. But you're gonna hit LAMP, choose the very first one, because that's LAMP 84 one hit. Now be careful here, because this VI stands for Visually Impaired, and that, some people don't see that VI very much. Uh, it's hard to see that. That's, that's what this stands for. These, this is the one hit, this is the Visually Impaired one hit version. So see why you see those different versions. Now hit Choose. And after you choose, say finish, but I want you to promise me you'll do an extra step right now. Go right here where it says rename, this, this right here where it says vocabulary settings, because what we're really after is renaming it. So touch here, and go right here where it says settings, and then right up here at the top where it says vocabulary name. I want you to change that to something that makes sense to you. Like I'm gonna name mine John H. One Hit. So I know that that's my student's vocabulary or the adult I'm working with. I always say student could be an adult. Now you just say finished and exit. Now you're in that person's vocabulary. Let's go ahead and copy a full version for me in case I wanna switch between the one hit and the full one. Maybe I don't know which one I should start with. So we, let's do the same steps. You hit menu, toolbox, go to vocabulary. I like it's the first thing, select a vocabulary. Go down here to lamp. This is the full without the word VI in it, so I go to choose that one. Say finished. Now go right here where it says vocabulary settings, right while you're in here. Go right down here to where it says settings. And then go right up here where it says lamp full. Take that full out and write something that you can remember. I'm gonna write John lamp full. That way I know where that is. Now, once I've done that, now you can switch between these levels real easy and just let me show you how you do that. So now I can go menu, toolbox, vocabulary, select a vocabulary, which makes perfect sense. Now you can go to this My Vocabularies. Now look, I have more than one in here. So here's the John Lamp full, here's the one hit. Kind of dangerous, but I can delete some of these if I want to get rid of them. So you see how easy you just delete by touching one of these and deleting it. So there's the two I just created. So now I can say finished. So if I want to switch between them, I can just, again, I'm going to start from the beginning because if I, if I, right now I'm, if I touch the drink, I'm in the full version. Shoes. So if I want to go to the one hit version, I would go, go to the menu, toolbox, vocabulary, select a vocabulary, don't go to LAMP again, because that'll give you a fresh, clean version. Go to the My Vocabularies. Now I can go to the one hit. And these are the ones you've customized for the person, so if you make changes, they stay in there. Okay, that's how you load LAMP Words for Life onto your accent within power. I hope that helps.